With schools prepared to reopen in just a few short weeks, concerns still remain around students safely getting back into the classroom. A reporter spoke with local school districts about the extra steps they're taking leading up to the first day back. Irvin Hinkley caught up with the Bald Eagle Area School District about their plans for using technology to keep students safe. But we begin with our Sean Rapp. So, Sean, you talked with the Central Cambria School District on what they're doing to ensure safety across the district. Yeah, Amanda, Central Cambria is in the middle of a five-part construction series that includes new athletic fields and changes inside this school, like new classrooms. Central Cambria is one of many schools that's getting a new look in response to the ongoing coronavirus pandemic. The vinyl flooring is being installed, uh, which can be much easier for maintenance employees to keep clean and sanitized. New student desks that can be spread out further. Superintendent Jason Moore says students will have the option for 100% online learning, adding that they want to be prepared if schools are to shut down again. Traditionally in the past, we've done uh, classroom sets where the, the, the Chromebooks have been in the buildings, but starting this year, we're going to allow kids to take them home even on, on day one. Moore says they are renovating the football stadium while also building a new multi-purpose turf field for football, soccer, baseball, softball, and more, most of which should be completed by the end of September. Other projects include adding a maintenance building, updating HVAC systems, and using LED lighting to cut down on energy costs. Moore says the project cost about $20 million and that the school will not raise taxes. Moore adds that they've received nearly $300,000 in grant money and CARES Act funding and that they should have enough cleaning supplies for the school year. Reporting live at Central Cambria, I'm Sean Rapp, WTAJ News. Thanks, Sean.